was lying in my bed oh. at nine o'clock <laughs> when my alarm gave out an eerie shock. I'd been waiting all day and through the night, and finally, to my delight, they did the nine at nine. <laughs> it made me lose my mind. A thrill for Frankenstein. They did the nine at nine. Wow. 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 Respect the Halloween edition. Yeah. That was a lot of work for a somebody lot. to run one time a year. Huh? <laughs> it's, 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 we'll run it for another week. Yeah. Or two. yeah. It's Halloween Fine. season. Good. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Wow. All right. Number nine. Check out the 2023 Corvette Z06. Ooh. Automotive experts say this is the coolest car they have seen in years. It's described as a supercar. Oh, wide, fast, and loud. There's no listed top speed, but it's able to go from zero to 60 in 2.6 seconds flat. That's because it also has the most powerful V8 engine in history. No price has been announced yet, so you have some time to save, but if you have to ask, you probably can't afford it. Number eight, there's a hook behind this new business that you probably didn't see coming. Are you a woman of God who's looking for new ways to be inspired? Well, I've got news for you. Hope Beauty is a new cosmetic company launching this Friday, October 1st. We cleverly matched the stories of the women of the Bible with makeup. <laughs> Hope Beauty is founded by a lady named Hope Harvard. She's a recent graduate of Clemson, where she was a cheerleader. She says she doesn't like what she sees in the traditional beauty industry. She recalls coming across an eyeshadow with the name Sin, and that glorifies immorality, she thought. That's why Hope founded her company with three lip kits named after women from the Bible. She says God gives us a glow that no highlighter can replicate. Huh. But you yeah. still need to get the highlighter from her. Huh. Right. All right, number seven. Here's a short video shot by Juhu Karhu that shows just how fast a barracuda is. The first thing you'll see is a small lemon shark. I didn't see anything. Right in the middle right of the screen? The okay. Yeah. okay. All right, oh that's a lemon shark? Yeah, okay. Let's hope. All right. We didn't miss the barracuda. <laughs> I think that's the one that's shark. There. Oh, Are you lit. kidding me? Maybe fast, but he's we got that. We gotta see that again. That got the shark. All right, here we go. Watch in the oh, middle of your yeah. screen. Wow. I'm just they swimming along. Again. He missed him. Swimming along. Mind my own business. I'm a ah. shark. Just swimming ah. along. Here we Having go. a good day. Doing a belly flop. And then I go. Ah! Hey, watch. Keep watching. He's right there. He missed oh. him. Wow. <laughs> fast, but bad aim. <laughs> Holy wow, cow. Wow. 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 That was fun. Yeah. Nature. All right, number six. Someone offered you the chance to live in your dream house at a price you could afford. All right. You'd probably jump at the chance, right? Well, what if that house was haunted, Larry? Right. I'd do it. Or claim to be haunted. All right. Well, according to a new study from Realtor.com, 30% of Americans wouldn't care. Yeah. They'd move right in. And just like Larry, they'd have no problem with it. Same goes for houses where serious or tragic crimes were committed. People say they don't care as long as it's cheap. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Money talks. I don't all right, you say this, but would you would your wife move in? with your kids. Hey, if she's I'd not say, moving in, I'm leaving her behind because if I find a good deal, <laughs> yeah. she's yeah. going to be happy to get you out also. But who's going to win? Who's going to clean the gutters? Your kids, your wife, and your daughters well, have been doing that. Well, with the money that. I save, I yeah. hired a kid next door. That's some visitation rights. You can get your daughter <laughs> yeah, every yeah. other weekend he'll have yeah. that done. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need it every right. day. Right. Yeah. Wow. Um, all right, number five, a recent article in Axios says the future of dating is virtual. So I guess it's true. Uh, but the article brought up some good points. Obviously, everyone got much more used to doing things via Zoom and FaceTime in the past two years. And the bigger thing, the average American spends $700 a year on dates. That's it doesn't what a, seem like a lot. No, it really doesn't, does it? No. It's like six dates a year. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of losers exact, did they survey yeah. for this? Uh, that was a lending tree survey found that. Pre-pandemic, 
um, that one in three people turn down dates because they really don't have the money. Ah. And the average first date for a millennial is 83 bucks. Just as people have gotten used to saving money on gas, the same goes for love. $83? Sure. It goes nowhere. Then you got to start over. It's another 83 yeah, it's, it How is about interesting. about the $500 mark? You're like, hey, maybe I'm out on this. Because, yeah. you know, there is that, that kind of a norm where the guy would pay on the, the first yeah. date. So do you guys, do you have to make sure someone's date worthy before you spend the money at Applebee's? Do you really have second thoughts about it in this day and age, you know? Do you really think it through or do you roll the dice? Say $83, I think cares? it depends on how desperate you are. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't you say? I don't I've know. been in that game a long, long time. Yeah, I would just as soon pay for it myself, right? That's, yeah. I don't know. You're supposed to be chivalrous. And is yeah. that a thing? Is that I, bad I, now? That might be bad. I, think it's I have bad. no I idea. Think that's if offensive. It, is it offensive to, yeah. be, to hold doors yeah. open? Yeah, that whole thing. <laughs> and guilty is, as charged. Yeah, so here. you're not, even when you were at, like, you had no money, you, it didn't dissuade you from going on dates knowing that, you know, eh, this might not work out, but I still got to pay for the popcorn. You'd still well, do it. Well, I think what you do is you, you go on that first date, but you try and shift it into high gear so you get yeah. serious real fast. Yeah. And that way, right. once you're serious, then you can sit around and watch videos, yeah. right? You're paying Have some for popcorn. the hope, is what you're paying you're yeah. paying for, for hope. For hope, <laughs> and then there's a point where you're like, all right, screw this. <laughs> it ain't working. I'm gonna go be a recluse. Yeah, and then I think you know. Then there's divorce. What is that quote from Jack Welch? You know why divorce is expensive? Because it's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, a sidetrack there. Let's talk about the history of carving jack-o'-lanterns. It originated in Ireland, only they used turnips instead of pumpkins. Oh, yeah. As legend has it, a man named Stingy Jack trapped the devil, so he made a deal. Jack said, I'll let you go if you promise to never send me to hell. The devil agreed. Ah. Eventually, Jack died. Turns out heaven didn't want him either, so he was doomed to wander the earth as a ghost for all eternity, carrying only a lump of coal and a carved-out turnip. Oh. Over time, people started carving scary faces and lighting up their own turnips to keep the evil spirits away, and that's how jack-o'-lanterns oh, were that's Interesting. A good wow. Never knew that, Larry. Uh, uh, that was helpful for all of us. Uh, number three, uh, we're going to teach you an old English insult, courtesy of our friends at Metal oh, Floss. Can't wait. Here's today's insult, bed swerver. It appears oh. to be one of Shakespeare's made up words for adulterer. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. yeah. Someone who likes to swerve around mm. in other people's beds huh. as in out, out, darn bed swerver. Huh. There you are, All right. a bed swerver. All right, number two, we'll go back to 1987 for this one. It's a promo for the Lincoln Park Zoo created by the Los Angeles animation studio called Kurtz and Friends. Yeah, it's brand new. The Lincoln Park Zoo. Oh, we're missing you. At the Lincoln Park Zoo. Oh, it's a world of fun. Wow. It's brand new. Yeah, yeah. Come see us. Wow. We'll see you at the zoo. The Lincoln Park Zoo. Oh, what's brand new? Lincoln Park Zoo. My kind of zoo. Wow. Wow, I'll tell you fantastic. what, the animals put on that kind of show, I go yeah. there a lot more. Every time I go there, they're <laughs> just sleeping. That's the truth. It's all they're just exactly sitting there right. sleeping in their own doo-doo yeah. and their hay. And this is yeah. with anything. Yeah, 30 years ago, they're singing, choreography. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Waste of space now. Thank you. Yeah. You don't, never want to raise the bar on a promo. It's something that uh, it's never been a problem here. Yeah. 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 Oh, God. Hey, well, all right, number one already. We have a uh, Halloween horror film for you, starring Gary Busey. In this one, Busey plays a crazed killer who is executed, but when his ashes are mixed in with the dough <laughs> <laughs> for a batch of gingerbread right. yeah. 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 Gary Busey is the ginger dead man. Oh, yeah. oh no. Boy. What the hell is that? Well, it sure ain't the Pillsbury f dope. <laughs> This is a little violent. It's very violent. A bit. Oh, oh. Curse words. Run, it's a run. Shame they hit him underneath all that makeup can. too. You know. So yeah. In the oven, you get beauty. You want to. <laughs> Showcase him. 
so good. Wow. <laughs> wow. 2005. Wow. Uh, uh, huh. Act of violence. Yeah. The director says he offered Busey 25 grand to be in the movie, expecting Busey to turn it down. funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. no. Understandable. Oh, boy. Uh, All right. Uh, that was a good nine and nine. They did the nine at nine. That's still good stuff there. Great.